Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are all fine. Today we are going to study about B cell receptors, the binding and signaling pathway which leads to B cell activation and proliferation and eventual release of antibodies. The learning objectives of today's lecture are to study the different surface molecules on B cells and our special focus would be on B cell receptors, their structure and comparison with antibodies and the role of SSC proteins like CD70 in signaling and eventually we will study about the pathways of B cell activation that is T cell dependent and T cell independent and how class switching of antibodies is done. The resting B cells have a membrane bounded immunoglobulin as their receptors. These are called B cell receptors. So these B cells become activated when uh, an antigen binds to the fat portion of the membrane bounded anti antibody. Like in this case, the bacteria bounds to the fat portion of the B cell receptor. This binding of antigen with the B cell receptors triggers a series of response that results in stimulation of B cell to give rise to antibody secreting cells called plasma cells as well as memory cells which provide long term immunity. Apart from B cell receptors or BCR, the B cells have number of different surface molecules on their plasma membrane. As you can see here, uh, the Ig heavy and light chain which makes the B cell receptor. Apart from them, there are uh, receptors called CD79 A and B, also called Ig alpha and Ig beta uh, heterodimers, which helps in sing signal transduction of B cell activation and there are other core receptors like CD21, CD19 and CD81. They have additional role as transduction molecule associated with B cell receptors. The B cells also have uh, MSC class 2 molecules on their surface which present peptide to CD4 cells. So this binds to the T cell receptors and CD4 and apart from that they have a CD40 which has a role in uh, class switching and it interacts with activated T cells and is involved in uh, T, cell, T cell dependent B cell activation. Let us study B cell receptor in detail. So B cell receptors are present on the B cell and they are actually membrane bounded immunoglobulins or antibodies. So these B cell receptors have uh, the ability to recognize and bind to the antigens. That is their primary function. So if we compare a B cell receptor with a secreted protein, you can see all of them are the same except that the B cell receptor has an additional cytoplasmic and transmembrane domain. As you can see here, the green one and the blue one. That's an extra one which helps the B cell receptors to bind to the B cell. The B cell receptors have uh, either IgM or IgT membrane bounded antibodies attached to the cell surface. So these IgM and IgT differ in their heavy, side, heavy chains. However, the FAP portion is identical. That means both of them can bind to the same antigen or have the same antigenic specificity. The BCR or B cell receptors have a short cytoplasmic domain. So they cannot con convey the message that antigen has bounded to the FAP portion to the nucleus to start transcription and followed by translation. So therefore, B cell receptors require other accessory proteins to transmit the signal to the nucleus. This table shows the major differences between 
B cell receptors and antibodies. B cell receptors are immunoglobulins which have a primary role as a transmembrane protein on the surface of B cell. And they are not produced in response to an antigen. However, antibodies are present in blood as blood proteins and they are produced in response to a specific antigen. So B cell receptors are membrane bounded immunoglobulins. However, antibodies are secreted immunoglobulin. That is, they are free immunoglobulins. So B cell receptors ca can be IgD or IgM. However, antibodies can have multiple different types of heavy chain making different uh, classes of antibodies like IgA, IgD, IgE. IgG and IgM. The B cell receptors has a C terminal hydrophobic region of heavy chain as well as a transmembrane domain. Both of them serve as signal transducers. Antibodies on the other hand do not have transmembrane domains. So B cell receptors have a primary function to bind to a specific antigen and activate B cells, differentiation and proliferation. Antibody's primary function is to bind to antigen and elect immune response through either a complement pathway or by recruitment of other immune cells to destroy that pathogen.